Hey YouTube, Anna here. Um, <clears throat> so this is like the first time since um, Cecilia's been born that I was able to actually put on a full face of makeup. Um, and <clears throat> that being said, I don't know that it's worth my time. <laughs> and um, I don't know that it's a priority anymore for me to, to do a full face of makeup. Um, since she's been born, I've been telling my husband that I really want to get permanent makeup, um, eyeliner and eyebrows, <laughs> um, just to make me feel normal. I, before she was born, I talked to him about some of the things that I wanted to stay the same or uh, make time to do after she was here. And I told him, <clears throat> I know this sounds frivolous and stupid, but makeup was my my thing. I wanted to um, be able to put on some makeup. I always found makeup super fun to do and like, I don't know, I, I like, it makes me feel good and it like just, it makes me happy. Um, I don't have time to do it anymore. Um, she's sleeping right now in her crib. She's been doing that for the past three days now, which is awesome. And, uh, so I haven't really had time to put on makeup until the last three days. <laughs> and she'll be four months, um, on the 23rd. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so, um, I found a place that I feel comfortable. I love their results that, um, does permanent makeup. And, and yeah, so I'm going to do it probably probably next month. Um, and I will let you guys know the results. Um, I'm taking pictures of my eyeliner cause I try to put eyeliner on every day now. <laughs> um, just so that she knows what my normal eyeliner looks like because it should look pretty natural. And, um, yeah, so I'm excited. <laughs> I'm also really nervous cause you know, it's permanent. It, it tends to fade like tattoos, especially on sun exposed areas tend to fade quicker. So I'm not actually like too worried about it because I feel like over time it'll fade. And like when I'm a super old lady, I'll have like really light colored darkness. Um, <laughs> does that make sense? My tattoo will fade so much that it'll just look kind of darker around my eyelashes, but it won't actually, um, look significantly, it won't look like a fresh tattoo at all. So, yeah, um, she does it by hand, which I'm sort of excited about. So she doesn't use the pen machine that a lot of people use. She does it by hand, and I mean, she's an artist, like, her stuff is super cool. Once I get it done, if I like it, I will, <laughs> I will link you guys to, um, to her stuff. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Last night, um, Cecilia slept for 8 hours and 51 minutes, and I had to wake her up. She wasn't crying. She was, like, moving her legs, so she tends to, like, kick them and then, like, slam them down. So she was moving her legs like that, bam, bam, kind of rhythmically, and then she'd fall asleep. And then she'd wake up and she'd hit her legs again, and then she'd fall asleep. And so she'd been doing that for, like, 30 minutes not making any sounds at all, not crying, not cooing, nothing. So I was like, she's, she's not actually awake. She's like kind of still sleeping. So, so yeah, I didn't want to wake her and, uh, I needed sleep because I had horrible sleep. I had caffeine really late yesterday, which I know is really bad. <laughs> I had caffeine at like four o'clock in the afternoon, a tea. And I thought, oh, okay, tea usually doesn't like really hype me up. Oh, it did. Um, couldn't fall asleep until midnight, was tossing and turning. And then at 4 a.m. I woke up to go to the bathroom. And then at 5.30, she, I woke her up to, to feed her because I was like, okay, I know you're not crying, but I'm going to cry because my boobs are leaking everywhere and they hurt. <laughs> so, so I was like, yeah, let's do this. Um, so I fed her and then she was just wide awake because of course she slept for like, she slept for like 10 hours, like that's, or nine hours, that's a long time. <laughs> so 
yeah, so it was really nice though. Like my husband got decent sleep and he's like, I'm gonna go into work early today and then I'm gonna come home early. And I'm like, yes, that sounds good. I like that. And I think this weekend I'm actually going to get rid of my hospital grade breast pump, the Symphony, Medela Symphony. Um, I love that breast pump. <laughs> I hate pumping because it's time consuming and I'd rather be sleeping or <laughs> cuddling with her. Um, so, so I have a love-hate relationship with that breast pump. Um, it really does its job. It's really strong. It's smooth though. It's not like, it doesn't hurt that bad. Um, and I'm happy to say this past week, breastfeeding has gone really, really well. I know that I told you guys like my right side was having issues, um, just painful, painful nursing on that side where I would have to be in like one particular, like laying on my side position in order for her to latch properly and in order for it to not hurt, like toe curling, crying hurt. Um, <clears throat> so this week I was able to breastfeed her on the right side with no real problem. Like the initial latch pain is still there, but it quickly goes away and it's, um, it's more tolerable. And I've noticed that I'm not snapping at my husband. <laughs> he notices when, um, when I'm in pain and I'm breastfeeding and he tries to talk to me, I just like yell at him, <laughs> which is horrible. But he like knows that I'm in real pain when I'm mad at him, <laughs> which is sort of sad. Like he has nothing to do with it and I'm, I shouldn't take my anger out on him because I'm just in pain. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so he's like, I noticed uh, breastfeeding is going really well. And I'm like, how do you know? And he's like, well, you haven't yelled at me. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so everything this week has gone really well. Um, I've gone out and about with Cecilia and nursed her in public just whenever she needs it. She's been sleeping so well, like she sleeps two to three and a half hours a day during the day and then she will sleep probably from about 7.30 on um, until about 3.30 or 4. I nurse her in between that, so at 7 when she goes to bed um, or when she like gets really tired and fussy, she'll go down and then we'll wake her up to like bathe her and then I'll nurse her right before I go to sleep, um, both sides and then she will sleep for a really long stretch. So yeah, she's a good sleeper and I feel confident in the routines. Um, I have a question for you guys about cloth diapering. I know I've been cloth diapering since, uh, since a few weeks in. Once her stump fell off, I was like, get her in the cloth diapers, um, which was really fun. I really like using them. Um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to be traveling a lot this fall and uh, winter, and I'm not sure how people do it when they're on the road. So this first trip that's coming up um, next month, I told my husband we are going to do disposables while we are on vacation. I don't know if that's like sort of counterintuitive to using cloth diapers, but that's what I'm I'm going to do. <laughs> but if you have any tips on traveling with cloth diapers, let me know because yeah, I I would like to use them. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so that is my big update and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will talk to you all on Monday. Yes, Monday, um, and let you know how the weekend goes, and and let you know if I really did get rid of my breast pump, because I'm I'm running out of time. I think I think I am running out of time. All right, well, um, adios. <laughs>